Did you ever look at an idiom and try to think what it means by the normal definition of the words in the idiom? Well, in this video, I'll take a funny look at how difficult it is to learn English and be ready to laugh. I will look at 15 common idioms that are used in business all the time. Idioms are hard, so let's have fun with them. I'll give you the idiom and look at what you might think the idiom means in a funny picture. Then I will give you the real definition, explain the origin of where the idiom came from, and then give you some example sentences using the idiom in business settings. I promise you, I've used all of these idioms many times in my American business working career. I'm Grant, and I'm a business English confidence coach. My mission is to help millions of people, just like you, become confident in English. So you have the freedom to do anything you want in life. Honestly, I think people try too hard to learn English in their ESL classes and other English courses. And you should have much more fun using English. Let's have some fun here. I want you to use this video for your English speaking practice. When I speak and say everything, I want you to pause the video and do some shadowing. Shadowing is you listening to me and then repeating what I said in the same way I said it. I also want you to create your own sentences using each of these idioms. This is not about learning idioms. This is about using idioms. And I really want you to please share your sentences in the comments below. Just try to use these. Have fun with it. Everybody shares. It'll be really interesting to see what everybody comes up with. Do you need idioms? Well, no, you usually don't. But it can be very helpful to understand idioms if you're communicating with native English speakers, especially for work. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's get the ball rolling here. Get the ball rolling. When you hear this, do you think of this? Well, that's not what it is. It means to start a project, task, process, or a video. This idiom likely comes from sports or games where starting the game involves getting the ball rolling. Example sentences can be, let's get the ball rolling on the new project by having a kickoff meeting. The manager's approval We'll get the ball rolling on hiring new staff. Raise the bar. When you think of raise the bar, do you think of this? <laughs> well, that's not it. <laughs> it means to set a higher standard or expectation for something. This phrase likely comes from track and field sports, where raising the bar makes Someone have to jump higher, and the next person has to jump even higher, and it makes it harder. Example sentences can include, the new policy aims to raise the bar for customer service. With the latest product launch, the company has raised the bar in the industry. Burning the midnight oil. <laughs> when you think of this, do you think of this? Well, that's not what it means. What it does mean is working late into the night to meet a deadline or complete a task. The idiom dates back to before the invention of electric lighting when people used oil lamps to work late into the night. Example sentences can include, with the deadline approaching, the entire team was burning the midnight oil. Sarah's dedication to burning the midnight oil ensured the report was finished on time. 
break the ice. If you think of somebody breaking the ice, do you think of this? Well, again, that's not it. It means to begin a conversation in a social setting, making people feel more comfortable. This idiom likely comes from the practice of breaking the ice and frozen waters to allow ships to pass. Example sentences can include the team building activity helped break the ice among new employees. He told a joke to break the ice at the start of the meeting. The ball is in your court. <laughs> when you think of this idiom, do you think of this? Well, that's not it. <laughs> what it is, is it's now your responsibility to take action or make a decision. This phrase originates from tennis, where the ball is literally in the opponent's court, and they must return it to you. Example sentences can include, we've done all we can on our end. Now the ball is in your court to finalize the agreement. After reviewing the proposal, the ball is in your court to decide the next steps. Bite the bullet. When you think of bite the bullet, do you think of this? Well, you might be close, but the meaning of it is a little bit different, and it means to face a difficult or unpleasant situation with courage and determination. This phrase comes from the practice of having soldiers bite on a bullet during surgery before anesthetics were available to handle the pain of like, cutting off your leg or doing some terrible thing like that. Example sentences could include, we need to bite the bullet and make some tough decisions about the budget cuts. Despite the challenges, the company bit the bullet and implemented the new policy. Cutting corners. When you think of cutting corners, do you think of this? <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> What it is, is doing something in the easiest, quickest, or cheapest way, often compromising quality and having poor quality. This idiom likely comes from the idea of taking a shorter route by cutting across a corner rather than following the road. Example sentences can include, cutting corners on this project will only lead to more problems down the road. A contractor was accused of cutting corners, resulting in subpar construction quality. Hit the ground running. When you think of this, do you think of this? Well, that's not it. It means to start a task or project with great enthusiasm and immediately make progress. This phrase likely originated from military training where soldiers would literally start running as soon as they hit the ground from a jump from an airplane. Example sentences can include, we need someone who can hit the ground running and make an impact from day one. After the merger, the new team hit the ground running to integrate the systems. I made another video that shows how to use chat GPT to understand idioms. And I highly recommend that you watch that video if idioms are interesting to you. And you can find a link to the video up here. Learn the ropes. Do you think it means this? Well, it doesn't. <laughs> but it does mean to learn how to do a particular job or task correctly, especially at the beginning. This idiom likely comes from sailing, where sailors had to learn how to use the ropes to control the sails. Example sentences could include, it took me a few weeks to learn the ropes at my new job. The internship helped him learn the ropes of the marketing industry. In the driver's seat. 
When you think about this, do you think about this? <laughs> well, it might be close, but it means to be in control of a situation or in a position of authority. This idiom comes from the literal position of driving a vehicle, where the driver has control. Example sentences can include, as the project leader, you're in the driver's seat for this task. After the promotion, he found himself in the driver's seat of the company. A tough nut to crack. <laughs> when you think of a tough nut to crack, do you think of this? In some ways, maybe you're right. It means a difficult problem or a situation to solve, or a person. This phrase likely comes from the literal difficulty of cracking some types of nuts. Example sentences can include, solving the budget issue is a tough nut to crack. The negotiations with the new client were a tough nut to crack. Go the extra mile. When do you think of this? Do you think of this? <laughs> well, it means to make a special effort to achieve something, often going beyond what is expected. This idiom likely comes from ancient Rome and the Bible, where it refers to going an extra distance to help others and do more especially when they don't expect it. Example sentences can be, the team went the extra mile to complete the project on time. She always goes the extra mile to help her clients. To hit the nail on the head. You might think it means this, but really, <laughs> it means to describe exactly what is causing a situation or problem, and to be exactly right. This idiom comes from carpentry, where hitting the nail on the head means striking it accurately, perfectly. Example sentences can include, your analysis hit the nail on the head regarding our sales decline. The consultant hit the nail on the head with her recommendation. Keep your eye on the ball. You might think it means this, <laughs> but it doesn't. It means to stay focused on the main goal or objective. This idiom likely comes from sports where players need to watch the ball closely to hit it so they can succeed. Example sentences can include to succeed in this project, you need to keep your eye on the ball. Despite the distractions, he kept his eye on the ball and met his goals. It's time to wrap it up. When you think of this, do you think of this? <laughs> That's not what it means. It means to finish or complete something. This idiom likely comes from the practice of wrapping items in paper or packaging to signify that they're finished and ready to be delivered or presented. Today, it really means, okay, we're finished. Let's wrap it up. Example sentences can include, we need to wrap it up by the end of the day to meet the deadline. The meeting ran long, but we finally managed to wrap it up. Okay, now it is time to wrap up this video. As I said earlier, I want you to take the time and try to create your own sentences using these idioms. This is not about learning English. This is about using English. So use it. Try. Try to make some sentences. Have fun with this. Who cares if you make mistakes? Have fun with it. Just try. The more you try, the easier English becomes. So that's what I want you to put in the comments. Your example sentences using as many of these idioms as you can. Have fun with it. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you 
to learn your business English confidence score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.